In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to um, maintain consistent dimensions between FreeCAD and Blender for the same object. Now, this is important because when you design in FreeCAD, uh, you want it to be precise in size uh, so that, you know, what if you are making the part, uh, you can... Um, you know, you have to have the precise dimensions. Now, when you take it to Blender, uh, if you are to change, if somehow it is changing, then you need to figure it out how to maintain the same consistent dimensions between FreeCAD and Blender. So, here is a uh, table I created earlier. So, um, I'm in start menu, so I'm going to uh, go to, let's say, part and take up one measurement just to show what the size of this uh, table is, overall size. So, let's see, uh, okay, let me go back here. So, this is uh, 39.5 inches. So this, this will use this as a reference dimension uh, in Blender. So let's go and close it out. And I want to import, export this uh, table into uh, a readable format uh, the Blender could read in. So let's go and export it. Now, um, the, there are a couple of ways you can export it. Uh, you have different export formats. Uh, but uh, one thing you need to be aware of is uh, Blender could only read uh, 3D models in certain format. The object format is one um, method the Blender could read, so I'm going to use that. So I'm going to export it. Um, so um, let's say I give some name one or something. So I have exported that. Now let's go and import that into Blender. So I'm going to start Blender. This is Blender 2.9. Now uh, go and import. Say I want to import to you know same format. So it's the object format. Um, so I'm going to import a table that I exported. So now you will see that it's kind of a, it's just kind of a messed up a little bit. So it's way too big. So what you have to do here is uh, you have to get it to consistent uh, dimensions as uh, what it was in my previous uh, model. Now in FreeGAD it was 39.5 inches. So Blender, uh, the, the preferred settings were set as in meters. I could have changed it, but I didn't change it. But here I'm going to switch to uh, inches. So I'll show you how to do that. So you have to be in, let's go into modeling. And you have to be in edit mode. Now, um, let's you have to go to the ski scene uh, selection, go to units, and let's change it to imperial. And okay, I don't have to change degrees, I want to change it to uh, inches. So uh, now let's take a, a moment and um, find out what, what are the dimensions in the table right now we have. So, uh, in how you do that is, uh, let's go and click on, yeah, so this is good. Uh, go to edge length. Uh, you have to be in edit mode when you change the uh, edge length option on. Now, I want to measure a uh, dimension of this uh, tabletop. So I'm going to go here and pick these two and you see you see this is now actually uh, 39,500 inches. So 
what you can do here is go and change scale it down by thousand now you change it to 39.5 so the entire uh, object is scaled down so that's how you maintain consistent dimensions between FreeCAD and Blender. I hope uh, this would be helpful when you start using you know, a combination of uh, FreeCAD and Blender in your projects.